Uh, my name is Anthony Braxton. Um, I'm a music guy, and uh, it's uh, been wonderful to be in New York City and have the opportunity to present our music uh, at this incredible space of, of roulettes. My uh, original plan was to bring in a cross-section of projects that uh, would give our, our, our membership uh, possibility to present a diverse music as a, as a way of commenting on uh, the fresh possibilities that's opened up in the last 20 and 30 years. My hope is that the American people will begin to refocus on American creativity, to refocus our energies on unity and community. In my opinion, we have the people who can do whatever the task is. Slowly but surely it became clear that we have to not only play the music, but we have to build another aesthetic, build a, a, find another way to evolve, uh, find another way to get our music to the friendly experiencer. Uh, you won't um, hear about our work in the Huffington Post or the Daily Beast. You won't see our work on television. Uh, either local or national television. It's okay, but we are there, and uh, there are kindred spirits all over our country who are trying to make things happen, who are concerned about the, the culture, the social reality, the political reality, and who are looking at creativity in a serious kind of way.
When I think about the Association for the Advancement of Creative Musicians, we came together in the middle 60s uh, in um, an intense political uh, climate. And now we find ourselves back uh, in a time and space uh, that in many ways reminds me of the 60s, even though it feels even more complex in this time and space. And so I uh, feel blessed uh, to have the opportunity to be alive uh, and, and to be in another restructural time space that calls for a fresh examination of what activism is. Um, it calls for looking at the, what is possible, uh, f fresh ways to explore the music. All over our country, people are fighting to to insist on a definition that makes sense based on their experience. And so um, our music's not on television because, well, the, the forces controlling television have decided that we don't fit in in their categories. But in fact, uh, maybe the categories itself must be re-examined. Well, my hope for the future is a more inclusive platform so that the American people can discover all of who they are, so that our people can benefit from American culture and not have to go to uh, Japan or Europe to learn about American culture. Um, I thank the Europeans. Were it not for, the, for European culture, I would not have had uh, an experience in creative music because there's never been any work, any real work in America. Maybe in the next time cycle that might change. That's my hope anyway. to be passively consumed, it's there to be engaged with. I mean, I love when, your term for an audience member as a friendly experiencer. It, it demands a higher level of engagement from the audience member and offers a higher level of reward. I think it was Sun Ra who reminded me that people need music. Mm -hmm. And there are different kinds of musics for different kinds of situations. The optimum situation would be a situation where our citizen, citizens are able to have exposure to all of what we are as a people. We have to stay curious. Uh, and one function of the music is to help remind us that everything is actually miraculous. Mm -hmm.
when I think of my relationship to music, I think of a spiritual position. Uh, for instance, if you would say, well, why breathe? <laughs> I would say, well, that's a good question, but if you don't breathe, then there are, there's complexities. <laughs> and uh, it's the same with music. Music is not just that which happens on stage. Uh, music is part of the vibrations that exist between people. So music is actually a mystical position. Um, there's the sonic uh, aspect of it, and there's the inner world aspect of it, which um, covers another dynamic. And so why play music? Why play music? Because we are alive. Mm -hmm. That's why we play music. And we want to be alive um, in this incredible, miraculous state that we have come to think of as normal, but it's, it's miraculous. I would just say, as a fact, I believe in spirits, I believe in the other, and I believe in magic, and I believe that uh, the discipline of music is a bridge to many different worlds, and that um, it's not a dessert, it's part of the main meal. My name is Anthony Braxton, and I watch Roulette Television. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Taylor Hobynum, and you are watching, I am yeah. watching, we are all watching Roulette TV. <laughs>